everyone welcome to what's cooking today i have the perfect menu for you if you think you've been eating too much for christmas you need to lose weight and it's the perfect menu or you feel like it's cold outside and everybody's coughing and runny nose and having cold it's the perfect soup for you so what have i got i've got lots of lovely healthy ingredients i've got uh, carrots here i've got celeries and I've chopped uh, um, about three to four uh, potatoes. I've leave them in water. Here I have leeks, yeah, which I've washed very well. Uh, thyme, coriander, and this is the uh, yellow split peas, and it's beautiful. So I'm just going to put half a cup of that. I've got obviously garlic, onions, I've got chili flakes, um, bay leaves, and two, a tablespoon of cumin salt and pepper so to start with we're just going to chop the ingredients first and uh, we'll move on I'm going to just throw it all in a big bowl here. It's very easy. You can chop your vegetable the night before. And this soup will be about two for seven people. So if you want just for four people, so you can half it and uh, choose half of the ingredient. Okay, my next ingredient is carrots. I think I'm going to use all of them. There are six carrots here and they're fairly small. Okay, it goes in my bowl here. Okay, and I've got a handful here of um, cilantro, coriander. Just going to chop them into little pieces here and just throw them in here. Okay, and I think I'm done. So to start, let me just chop my um, onions. And three cloves of garlic. Just give it a good mash here. Oh la la. Voila. So move on to my pan, hot pan. Put some olive oil in here to fry the onions and the garlic. The onions. The garlic, let it sweat a bit. Oh, it smells lovely. Now I'm going to add the bay leaves, just a handful of bay leaves, two tablespoons of cumin, and some uh, thyme. I'm just going to throw it in there. I'm not just going to with the stick and afterwards we can remove them. Okay, now all the ingredient goes in. The leeks goes in, the celery, the carrots, the coriander, everything goes in. And now we get the potatoes, all in goes in there. Oh, smell lovely. Give it a good stir. So I'm going to let it fry for a good two, three minutes with uh, the garlic and the onions before I add the 
yellow sweet peas and the chicken stocks. So let's just let it sweat a bit. Oh, isn't it look lovely? Smell beautiful here. Really beautiful. Yeah, as you could see, it's been, um, you know, frying in, in all the spices here and all blending. So I'm going to add one cup of yellow split peas and I'm going to add salt, pepper, I mean, salt and pepper, it's up to your taste. Give it a good mix, a really lovely mix. And here I've got another ingredient. I've got um, uh, chili flakes. I mean, you don't have to put chili flakes, but I like that little bit of a bite, just very little, maybe a teaspoon. Okay, and here I have uh, chicken stock. So let me see how much would I need. Probably five to six cups. And as it's boiling, as it's going along, you can see how much you want because the water will ev evaporate. So I've got about five to six cups. And now I'm just going to let it simmer for a good half an hour to 40 minutes. And, and the soup will be ready, so easy. Very easy and healthy and delicious too. So I'm going to put a cover and that would be it. Let it simmer. The soup has been simmering or boiling for a good 20 minutes, as you could see. It's nearly done. The carrots is nearly tender crunchy but i wanted a bit more 10 more minutes and the the peas as well so 10 more minutes and uh, it smells beautiful i can smell the cumin the coriander and um, the the garlic it's it's actually divine really lovely and while we wait for 10 more minutes i just want to share something with you and probably you people know uh, last week or two weeks ago we we've, we've heard um, Kobe Bryant, um, uh, the famous basketball guy who passed away in a tragic accident. And not only him who died, his daughter, there was another family with their daughters. I think eight of them passed away. It was, it was a shock and my kids love basketball. It was like, how could this be? You know, it, it was very sad. It was heartbroken. And you know, I was sitting there thinking, oh my goodness me, you know, there is one thing in life that we, we could never stop. It will come to us all, and that's death. You know, it doesn't matter how old we are, you know, how much money we have in the bank account, how beautiful car we have, how big our house is. But one day, we are all going to die. And that's the reality of things. So, you know, it's the big question is, what happened after death? Where do we go? Some people believe they're going to turn into animals, they're going to have a different life. And I tell you what, this is not the truth. The Bible say, you know, we are just passing by here. We have an eternal home in heaven. And how do we get into heaven? By being a good person? No. By giving charity or by being, doing good deed to others? It's good to do all, the, all these things. But the Bible says we need to receive Jesus Christ in our hearts, in our life. That's the only way to heaven. And John 3.16 says, you know, the Lord gave His only begotten Son. So we will not perish. So we have everlasting life. And today, I just want you to think, I want you to ponder, if you die today, where will you go? And I tell you, heaven is real, hell is real. And in hell, there is no back door that you go in, you think, I can escape. There is no back door, you burn in hell. And that's reality. So today, I just want to encourage you, there is one way to heaven. 
and that's through Jesus Christ. Because one day we all have to face judgment, we all have to die, where do we go? So I would pray with you today and I would ask you, make a decision for Jesus, asking into your heart, into your life, because it's worth it. You might think, you know, I'm not going to die today. But you don't know. Kobe Bryant, did you think he was going to die today? And his beautiful daughter, no. So the answer is Jesus. So think today and ponder on it and receive Jesus in your life. And I'm praying for you. God bless you. Guys, the soup is ready. It's been boiling for a good 40 minutes so are we ready for this whoa wow so look at this that's delicious i'm going to pour it in the bowl here Wow, look at that. That is smell divine, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to try some. Some carrots. And I'm just going to put a dash of lemon. Just squeeze a bit of lemon here. Okay, let's see. Mmm. This is lovely. On a cold day, and you got a bit of a cold and sore throat, runny nose, it's just perfect. Mmm. This is absolutely divine and if you like what I've cooked today and you want to see more cooking please subscribe to our channel and click the notification button and until next time taste and see that the Lord is good God bless you ah.